So is it visible? Yes, ma'am. It is visible. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Arpita. Today, uh, I'm going to explain a little about a wrapper class. So what is a wrapper class? Uh, a wrapper or a container is a class, uh, is a data structure. It contains a different S objects or the collections of objects uh, as its members. So uh, a wrapper class is an or custom object. It's defined by a programmer uh, where he defines the wrapper class properties. Uh, like if I have to explain uh, in a clear words, like uh, I'll, uh, I'll take a small example. Uh, like we have uh, germs, right? We have uh, germs in different colors. Um, but if we want only a few in each color, then uh, we can't like we, uh, in general we'll take the whole packet and uh, we'll take few colors from it like you know, how many we want we can take right but uh, in terms of a wrapper class uh, if you uh, if you want a germ of one color like I want red color three blue color three and uh, black color three so I can take each uh, each color three I can put it in a separate uh, class I can put in a separate class and use it. So wrapper class is also same, like whatever the uh, whatever the uh, like data types or uh, properties or whatever the objects you want, you can like take it and you can put it in a one class and use it. So that's a wrapper class. So the benefits is, uh, as I said, we can store the data from multiple S objects. Um, and uh, we don't we don't require multiple lists of different s objects and we uh, the code reusability we can uh, you know use the code uh, as many number of times uh, we can use wrapper class in a visual force page lightning component and we can also convert the json string into wrapper class so uh, we can use multiple wrapper classes in a single apex class and uh, we can use a nested wrapper class in a single object class. So this is example of the multiple wrapper classes in a single apex class. So this is one class and this is the other. Uh, so in this I have uh, declared the variables and this class I have referred here with this variable. And in the constructor, I have init uh, uh, initiated the object and I've given uh, some values to it. This is a VF page. So, um, so this is a very basic one. I took controller, this wrapper class here. Uh, then I'm just given, you know, the name, age, salary. So this is the output. So if you want, um, like if you want it in a single list or something, you need to, we can create a list here and add this into that list. You'll get it in a, a list. So here, this is the example of uh, multiple uh, wrapper classes in a single Apex class. So this is the one and this is the other. We are declaring this away in, in this class as a variable and we are initiating it. So this is a nested wrapper class in a single Apex class with logic. Okay, so here we have three classes. Uh, one is the wrapper account class, wrapper opportunity class, wrapper account and opportunity both. So what I've done here is this in this uh, in an account class, I've given the variables and I've declared this class in this opportunity class as uh, you can see W uh, account. So I've declared like this in this. Again, next is like uh, this class I have declared it here. Uh, w O P P uh, opportunity I've declared and in our constructor I just initiated them uh, op this opportunity is equals to new and uh, this so basically I've initiated this and this both in here and I just given us uh, um, different methods here so account method like if the industry is banking then industry is banking and rating uh, if industry is banking then the rating will be hot or else it will be like other than banking if anything is there then it will be cold and you know opportunity method if the stage name is closed one then we'll get a today's date 
the otherwise you'll get the date uh, plus like 15 days like from today uh, like 15 15th day you'll get so this is this is the vf page so here i've given this uh, class name as like this one the first one uh, and you know i've given this page blocks and uh, um, input and say, uh, so the general one like uh, like input text input label output text so the same basic i've given here so this is how it looks so when i uh, just take, uh, wrote uh, maxwell and industry as a banking when i click the account i got a rating as hot and um, a name maxwell and in the opportunity section when i given some name and uh, stage name as closed one then i got this uh, today's date when i click this opportunity so thank you so clear sir everyone so generally proper class is what is proper class you can create your own data types sir. that's simple definition you can add multiple data types into the one data type whatever you want that is the wrapper class generally we can use this wrapper classes in mainly in uh, vf pages and uh, integration classes and everything okay so thanks man thanks for the presentation oh, thank you sir